Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah ve salatu ve selam ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem ecmain. Allahümme enfa'ni bima allemteni ve allimni bima yenfa'ni ve zidni ilmen inneke entel alimul hakim. My topic today is about the enlarged lymph node in the child neck differential diagnosis and the clues to common diagnosis and less common diagnosis with uh, some examples. The common causes include reactive lymph nodes, suburative lymph node, Hodgkin disease, including non-Hodgkin lymphoma and cat scratch disease and non-TB mycobacterium lymphadenopathy. Reactive lymph node, reactive implies benign condition. It is a response to infection slash inflammation, acute or chronic. Any head and neck node can be involved. Imaging enlarged well-defined oval shaped node with variable contrast enhancement can be associated with or without cellulitis and it is common if it is there is cellulitis it is common with bacterial infection. Cellulitis usually absent in non TB mycobacterium. Edema to the adjacent muscle with myositis may be associated, maybe not. Necrosis may be present, maybe not, and seen in bacterial infection, non-TB mycobacterium, and cat scratch disease. Here, axial CT scan of the neck shows enhance, multiple enhancing lymph nodes in the neck in teenager patient with infectious mononucleosis associated with enlarged palatine tonsils as we see here encroaching the airway. Here, axial CT scan of the neck, you see multiple lymph nodes in the neck larger on the left side in patient with uh, a positive uh, a swab, positive swab for beta hemolytic streptococcal infection in group A. Suburative lymph node bus within the node. It is intranodal abscess. Uh, if it untreated, will rupture and cause soft tissue abscess. Imaging if thick enhancing wall plus Central hypodensity suspect a drainable abscess. Phlegmon may have similar appearance. Associated cellulitis common in bacterial infection and absent in non TB mycobacterium. Associated non suburative adenopathy, a plus minus thickening of the muscles myositis. As we see here, multiple lymph nodes in the neck, enhancing associated with the low attenuation retropharyngeal abscess. And these lymph nodes are bilateral non suburative in nature. Here we see axial CT scan of the neck and there is low attenuation into a nodal abscess and significant soft tissue uh, edema in the adjacent subcutaneous tissue comparing to the left side. Hodgkin lymphoma 
the B cell in origin histologic show a read Sternberg cell most common involves in cervical and mediastinal lymph nodes. Extra nodal disease is uncommon. Tumors are Einstein virus, virus positive in up to 50%. Imaging cannot distinguish Hodgkin from non Hodgkin lymphoma on imaging basis. Around cell nodal masses with variable contrast enhancement plus minus necrosis. Single or multiple node change may, may be involved. Classification is uncommon unless it is treated. FDG bit or gallium scan for staging and evaluating response to treatment uh, commonly used. Here we see a group of lymphadenopathy enlarged with enhancing in patient, teenager, and above to be with Hodgkin lymphoma. Here is another patient with marked enlargement of the low attenuation right cervical lymph node in another teenager patient with Hodgkin lymphoma. Cat scratch disease, usually self-limited, tender or painful original lymphadenopathy, 70 to 90% of in fall or early winter. Four out, four out of five of patients are less than 21 years old. And scratch or bite may be precede development adenopathy by one to four weeks. Bartonella hen city most common pathogen. Imaging homogeneous or necrotic lymph node. As we see here, large lymph node in the left side with ill-defined, with central necrosis adjacent to the left submandibular gland. And there is no, no significant soft tissue edema adjacent to the lymph node enlargement. Non-Hodgkin disease. It is extra nodal disease, more common in non-Hodgkin. It is more common than Hodgkin lymphoma. And in imaging, we cannot differentiate non Hodgkin lymphoma from Hodgkin lymphoma. A single dominant node or multiple enlarged non necrotic nodes may be seen. Non nodal lymphatic disease, palatine, lingual, or adenoid tonsils are involved. Non nodal extra lymphatic baronasal sinus, skull base, and thyroid gland also may be involved. As we see here, multiple lymphadenopathy bilaterally, symmetrically enlarged, and with non crosses in patients with non Hodgkin lymphoma. Non TB mycobacterium lymphadenopathy, mycobacterium avum intracellulari. Mycobacterium scrofolcim, usually non tender lymphadenopathy, imaging necrotic lymphadenopathy are common, and lack of surrounding cellulitis. As we see here, multiple lymph nodes noted on the left side with necrosis adjacent fat it is not involved. Patient with out fever and no elevation of the blood cell count. 
Mycobacterium avium intracellularly was isolated from the oxygen specimen of in this patient. Less common causes metastatic neuroblastoma, post transplant lymphoproliferative disorder, differentiated thyroid carcinoma. Metastatic neuroblastoma, most cervical involvement with neuroblastoma is metastatic. Imaging, large lymph node, rarely necrotic, plus minus skull base metastatic common, enhancing masses with aggressive bone erosion. As we see here, axial CT scan of the neck with multiple lymph nodes noted on the left side, subclavicular in location in a child with neuroblastoma. And this lymph node shows also low attenuation in its center with enhancing wall. Post transplant lymphoproliferative disorder, spectrum benign hyperplasia to lymphoma, most common in patients who are Epstein Barr virus, zero negative barrier to transplant, more common after heart and lung than after kidney transplant. Children more common affected than adults, abdomen, chest, allograft, and head, neck, and CNS can be involved. In, in imaging, we have cervical lymphadenopathy, adenotonsillar hypertrophy may lead to above airway obstruction, plus minus sinusitis and otitis media. As we see here in this patient with uh, post uh, transplant lymphoproliferative disease uh, shows multiple lymph node enlargement more than on the left prior to the renal transplant. Differentiated thyroid carcinoma. Uh, Nodal spread in babillary distant spread common in follicular. Three times more common in women, present in third and fourth decade, occasionally in adolescent, rare in young children. Imaging variable small to large nodes, homogeneous or heterogeneous hemorrhagic or cystic necrosis. Focal calcification and solid a foci of enhancement may be present. Here we see multiple lymph nodes on the left side enhancing with on the left side of the neck, uh, both to be metastatic thyroid carcinoma in teenager patient. Aware causes, but it is important, systemic metastasis and Langerhans histocytosis. Systemic metastasis in children, a primary malignancy usually known, neuroblastoma most common. Other primary malignancies such as testicular carcinoma, hepatoblastoma, cordoma. Subclavicular metastasis suggest chest or abdominal primary. Imaging, single or multiple large nodes, plus minus necrosis. As we see here, there is a large lymph node on the, on the right subclavicular uh, region metastatic in nature in patient with cordoma. Langerhans histocytosis, focal localized or systemic disease, unifocal more common than multifocal, skeletal involvement most 
common associated with adenopathy and systemic disease. In acute disseminated disease, let us see we and diff there is diffuse lymphadenopathy, a plus hepatosplenomegaly, skin rash, marrow failure, and pulmonary disease. As we see here in this uh, patient, child patient with uh, extensive bilateral lymphadenopathy uh, involving the neck uh, with extensive uh, lung of hands cell histocytosis. Thank you for thank you very much for listening. Hoping to see you soon in another. Uh, talk.